bugs, thousands of them infesting people's homes all over the Treasure Valley. They are not box elder bugs or anything else you've heard of, so what are they? Jennifer Awe is on your side with more on these mystery bugs. Well, Don, Michelle, a new breed of bugs popped up in our area and they're crawling into homes in large groups. In fact, one of our coworkers here is also experiencing an infestation in his own home. And those people who are dealing with these bugs say bug sprays don't work and they're just disgusted by them. These mysterious bugs flooding into homes all over the Treasure Valley. A cousin of the stink bug, also the box elder bug and some others, it is relatively new to our area, we're thinking. We're still in the process of identifying exactly what it is. Ariel says her office in Caldwell received numerous complaints about the bugs, saying, quote, lots and lots, hundreds, and they're everywhere. Homeowners say they first noticed the bugs about two weeks ago just kind of gross because they came in such number. They would congregate uh, in the windows and our exterior doors and when we open them they would flood into the house. Now many people confuse these bugs with the box elder bug, but this bug on the left is much smaller than the box elder bug on the right. And the good news is experts say these bugs are harmless. They may have a slight odor but do not bite, eat anything or breed in the house. Experts say that the best way to keep these bugs from coming into your house is not using insecticides or pesticides, but instead sealing your windows and doors. It's fairly easy to find where they're congregating and just vacuum them up or sweep them up. And if you come across a large number of them, say on the outside of a house altogether, you can try hosing them down, it can drown them. Experts believe this new type of bug feeds on the seeds of elm trees and starts infesting homes midsummer. We've been sending samples up to our entomologists on campus and they've been sending them around the country to fight, try to figure out exactly what they are. It would be nice to find something that uh, would, would help get rid of the problem before it came into a, my house. Experts say once they find out the exact species of these bugs, they hope to find better solutions to get rid of them. And if you need more information on how to effectively get rid of these bugs in your home, you can contact the U of I Extension Office in Caldwell. Live in the studio, I'm Jennifer Raw. Today, six on your side.